Greetings everyone and welcome to question number 31 of US examination geometry section. In this question, as you can see, we are dealing with vectors. And we have vector A which has values minus 3, 2 and minus 1. We have vector B which is, has values 2, uh, 1 and 3. And we are asked uh, the value of A vector A times vector B. Now one element that you have to remember when you are dealing with vectors we are dealing with distance. As soon as you are dealing with distance, you always have to take the absolute value of the vectors. Now, we have vector A times vector B. And what is its value? When you multiply two vectors, you always multiply the first number of the first vector times the first number of the second, uh, second vector plus the second number of the first vector times the second number of the second vector plus uh, the third number of the first vector times the third number of the second vector. So let's do that. We have the absolute value of minus 3 times 2 plus 2 times 1 plus minus 1 times 3. So what do we have here? The absolute value of minus 3 times 2 is minus 6 plus 2 minus 3. So we have the absolute value of minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7. So the absolute value of minus 7 is equal to 7. So the product of these two vectors is equal to 7. Greetings everyone and welcome to question number 32 which is at the same time the last question of US examination geometry section. In this question as you can see we are dealing with vectors. We have vector u which, is, which has values minus 1, m and 6. We have vector v which has values 2, minus 4 and 3. As soon as you see this symbol it means that this is the product of these two vectors and in this case it's equal to zero and we are as the value of m additional note here as soon as you, you see this symbol and you have uh, the value of the uh, of the vectors product when you when you make the uh, when you do the multiplication of the vectors you don't have to take their absolute value now that we know now this we can easily solve for m so what do we have here we have zero which is equal to uh, what do we do when we multiply two vectors? We take the product of the first numbers plus the product of the second numbers plus the product of the third numbers. So we have minus 1 times 2 plus m minus 4 times minus 4 plus 6 times 3. So we have 0 which is equal to minus 2 minus 4m plus 6 times 3 it's 18. So unknowns on one side, knowns on the other side. So we have 4m which is equal to minus 2 plus 18 it's 16 and m is equal to 4. As you can see, a very easy and simple process to follow to get to the right answer. This was question number 32, which at the same time is the last question that we will cover for uh, US examination geometry section. I strongly believe that these questions, by, with all these questions, we have covered all the topics that you will be tested on as soon as you enter US examination. I strongly believe that these will become your greatest assets. As these questions, we try to provide you processes and hints that you need to follow, which will certainly save you a lot of time on your exams. I wish you good luck. And